to another web learning episode where knowledge is shared. In this episode, I'll talk a little bit about my Regal DS1104B, how it broke down, and how I fixed it at the end. As you can see straight from the screen, without having any of the probes connected, I have a 400 millivolts noise in each channel. One day it started happening to me that I was getting the wrong readings and I couldn't figure out why. So I gave the scope to a local dealer and they came back after a month saying that the main board is broken and they cannot fix the scope. Well, because the scope was out of warranty, I decided to fix it by myself. And here is what I did. I first started taking the scope apart. As you can see, there are two hidden screws up here under the handle. And there are two screws down here at the bottom. After removing the two screws on the top and then the two screws on the side, and then two more on the top and two more on the side, and then the rest four, I opened the case. The case, you have to lift it from this side and then it opens up completely. After opening the back cover, there are four bolts with a metal casing that holds the power supply. After I opened the power supply, I looked for any damaged parts in the primary side of the power supply and the secondary side. I couldn't find any broken parts or defected or abnormal parts. The only thing I could see was a residue, some brown stuff coming down that started around the big, the big capacitor of the primary. After doing some tests to the capacitor before taking it out and without having it powered to the main power supply, I saw that the capacitor is not behaving correctly. After removing it, I completely saw the residue of the, the capacitor that explains this brown uh, residue that I saw and why also the scope didn't behave correctly. Well, I went and got a new capacitor and I replaced it with the old one and putting the, the old capacitor, the brown capacitor, next to the new capacitor, the green one, you can see that the brown capacitor, also the top, was a little bit inflated. After putting everything back together, you can see that now the scope is working fine. All the channels are still disconnected. I have it on 50 millivolts, and I hardly have any noise. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you if you have the same issue. And I hope you didn't spend that much money as I did when I took it to the dealer to try to find out what was the issue. And he came back to me saying that the motherboard is not working. If you like this video, please subscribe and you'll get more notifications when I upload new ones. Thank you.